Hey everybody, I'm here on the back porch with our son Levi. I'm going to do one of these semi-live videos. That's what I like to call these. One take and no editing. Let's make some burgers. the clicks of the tripod as I set it up. I have the Blackstone range top combo here. By the way, a shout out to Texas. We were down in Texas two weeks ago. It was a wonderful time hanging out with the folks in Cleburne and Decatur. Azel was rained up and big shout out to the folks in Arkansas. We're heading up to Arkansas this weekend. We're going to be in Batesville, Mountain Home and Searcy which looks like it's spelled C or C, but it's pronounced Cersei. So Arkansas Woo Pig Suey coming your way. Wah! Use the Blackstone infrared thermometer here. And let's see, we have top... A laser in it. Laser in it, 556, 540. What do you think about the laser, buddy? That's uh, good. Good. Okay. Here we go, folks. Show you how easy this is. Blackstone griddle on high, baby. If I write a book, it's going to be called Life on High Heat Olive Oil. My old friend and Popeye's girlfriend. Check this out. These are quarter pound 80-20 meatballs. All right, so this is going to be semi-live, folks. What you see is what you get. Let me zoom in for you at least. There we go. Wax paper, Blackstone Press and Sear Burger Tool. Look, I'm giving it CPR. You like that? Zoom out. I accidentally. I accidentally pressed stop there, so please excuse me. I meant to zoom out and I pressed stop. We're still going semi live, no camera trickery here. Alright, let's season these bad boys up. Move over here. And what do we got? I'm always going to use some combination of salt, pepper, and garlic. You know, I like to use lots of different spices by lots of different companies. But when all else fails, if all you ever have is salt, some kind of salt, black pepper, I like it fine ground, and granulated garlic. Oh my goodness, that's all you need. So here we go. Black pepper. Granulated garlic. My buddy Corey brought these back for me from Hawaii last year. This is black coral, 100% black Hawaiian sea salt. All right, you can hear all the pops and the clicks of the camera and the tripod, folks. And if you've never seen it, this is what black sea salt looks like. Check that out. Whoa, a huge hunk of it fell off back there. Semi-live here, folks. Yep, gonna be good, buddy. Yeah. Here, 
tell everyone what you just said. What did you just tell me? Uh, it'll be good. It'll be good. Zoom in. Let's throw some onion down there, folks. Just some diced yellow onion out of the kitchen. My favorite spatula by far. Oh my goodness. Check that out. Ooh, oh my goodness. Look at that. Look at that sear, folks. We're not joking around here. Let's see if we can zoom in for that one right there. Oh, man. I love you, buddy. Oh, that is some incredible caramelization. Look at those burgers. Woo! All right. So no fancy recipes here, folks. And if you wanted a cool, fancy recipe, go out to blackstoneproducts.com. They just uploaded a brand new recipe that I just created. I'm calling it the Better Mac. Not the Big Mac, the Better Mac. Blackstoneproducts.com. Click on recipes. You'll see a picture of this burger. Maybe I'll flash one right here. I'll put a link down below. The Better Mac. Now that's a fancy burger. You say thumbs up, buddy? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's check out our onions. See what we got going on here, folks. There we go. Oh, yeah, baby. Onions are looking good already. So I'm going to go ahead and just turn off. that burner all together with those onions hang out there look at those burgers right there by the way they look wonderful folks I'm all out of hamburger buns hey buddy I love you too I'm all out of hamburger buns but I do have some of this on in the shelf um, this stuff is incredible. If you're gonna buy literally just store bread, like, you know, the old-fashioned kind of store bread, Sara Lee came out with the Artisano bread about two years ago. They have a golden wheat and a white version. This stuff is incredible. It makes some of the best French toast I've ever had. The best sandwiches. And you know what? If you don't have a hamburger bun, you could just use bread. But Sara Lee Artisano, oh, good stuff. All right, camera, there we go. Where's my camera guy when I need it? Toasting up bread on the griddle, folks. That's where it's at. I tell people this all the time at my demos. What's amazing, when you're toasting bread on a gr griddle, um, it, the outside of it gets texture. It gets a little crunch, but the inside of the bread stays moist. And it is incredible. It is the best bread, the best buns you can cook. Griddle bread. Almost forgot cheese here, folks. So again, nothing fancy. I just went to the fridge and pulled out what I have. So I pulled out a couple of pieces of American. And I've got a couple pieces of pepper jack right there. Tell you what, let's leave a few of those plain for kids. Toast that bread right there. I think I lost Levi. He must have run inside. He must have ran inside. 
come on over here with me. See what we got going on over here. Oh, look at that. No camera trickery here, folks. That bread is toasted beautifully. Go ahead and flip this right now. Put my shoes on. Hey, you put your shoes on? Yeah. Say hi. Hi. Oh, that bread is beautiful. I say it over and over. I can never say it too much. Toasted to perfection every time. Hey, Natalie. Hi. You like burgers toasted to perfection every time? Yeah. What do you have to say? What do you have to say to the audience? Hi. Hi. <laughs> All right. Bread is done. It looks perfect. So I'm just going to go ahead and stack it up. I put another new recipe up at BlackstoneProducts.com last week as well folks griddle enchiladas I made them here and did a YouTube video on those years ago but I did a, a, um, a recipe a written recipe with a picture of Blackstone enchiladas blackstoneproducts.com.com and click on recipes does blippy say dot com Sometimes he does. We're big fans of Blippy on YouTube, aren't we, buddy? Yeah. Yeah, Blippy's pretty cool. Shout out to Blippy. All right, let's get some of those onions and we'll onion a few of these up. And a quick zoom right there. Okay, so we'll put onion on these pepper jack burgers right there and onion on that one as well beautiful and take the camera off we'll do one of those beauty shots once again I press stop when I meant to zoom out no camera trickery though I promise you Let's go ahead and plate one of these bad boys up. Do it right over here. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, baby. All right. Let's find two delicious pieces of bread. And my plate. Oh, Where's my yeah, plate? Diggers. Oh yeah, diggers. Oh. All right. There's the plate. Can we see it? It looks good. Okay, a piece of bread on the bottom. That's the artisanal bread. We're just gonna garnish this up with what we have in the fridge. And I like mayo. And I like mustard. I like ketchup. We'll let the kids do theirs differently if they want to. I like Grab one of those. Oh my goodness, check this out. Look at that. That's one of those pepper jack patties right there. See how that lighting is. I'm gonna make sure you can see it. The song's playing. I don't want to leave a word yet. See. Uh oh, that's a funny song. Hold on, guys. Hey guys, hold on. All right. Real life here, folks. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> hey, how's it look? Oh yeah, baby. Look at that. Mm 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 mm. mm, -mm, -mm. Yeah, that's mustard. We'll put that on there. Okay, folks. Uh, let's see what else do we have. Let's. You know what? I need a fork, and I don't have a fork out here, do I? Do I have a fork? You know what? I've got tongs in the bottom of the griddle. Here's a good jarred pickle. I like fresh pickles, but Costco carries these large half gallons of famous Dave's signature spicy pickles and they are incredible if you're gonna go with just a jarred on the shelf pickle this one is a great suggestion okay watch out Natalie I'm trying to reach in and get pickles folks there we go here we go pickles on top I like a lot of pickles on my I burger like any pickles. okay well we don't have to put any pickles on yours I'm gonna crunch that one right there 
goes on mine. I don't want pickles on mine. Alright, buddy, let's see if I can get a better angle. There we go. Trying to get a better angle for the people watching. And we'll put a big old slice of tomato on top. And of course, the top piece of bread. Oh my goodness, I gotta go in for a view of that. Take a look at that. All right, guys, go in for a bite. I'm gonna turn these other burners off because these burgers are done. Mm. Oh my goodness. Let's give it a try. So easy, press and sear burger tool. Sears that meat up, gives a delicious caramelized coating. Crust on the outside of the burger, moist on the inside. You can't go wrong toasting any kind of bread on the griddle. See you out in Arkansas this weekend. Visit me at MakeAmericaGriddleAgain.com, BlackstoneProducts.com, Facebook.com slash BlackstoneProducts, Facebook.com slash Todd Tovin Official. And until next time, this is Todd and Natalie, Aaron in there, and Levi. And we're saying praise the Lord and pass the bogles. Say pass the burgers. Pass the bogles.